హలో సిఏ యూజర్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు ప్యాషన్ టు ఫ్లర్ట్ విత్ సిఏ ఫర్ ఇంజనీ సిఏ ఇంజనీయర్స్ అండ్ ఫ్రెషర్స్ టుడే ఇన్ దిస్ సెషన్ వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ఎఫ్ఈ మోడలింగ్ అండ్ సిమ్యులేషన్ ఆఫ్ హిన్ జాయింట్ యూజింగ్ హైపర్ మెష్ ఫార్ అబాకస్ సో ఇన్ దిస్ లైట్ యూ క్యాన్ సీ వీ నీడ్ టు ఫాలో సమ్ ప్రొసీజర్ టు క్రియేట్ హిన్ జాయింట్ సో ఫస్ట్ వీ నీడ్ టు క్రియేట్ ఎ టూ ప్లేట్స్ and we need to assign material property and we need to create a result that is a coupling element we need to use using coupe parametric so next we need to create hinge element using con 3d and to orient this hinge joint what we need to do we need to create a local coordinate system and we need to create a connected properties in that what we need to do we need to orient this hinge with a local coordinate system and apply bondy condition and export the file we need to run it quickly i'll show you this one how exactly we are going to create see these are the part 1 and this is the part 2 and this is the x direction right so this part the bigger part which will rotate along x rot right this is the metal property what i used over here quickly i'll show you how to create hinge using hypermesh right so first and foremost thing we can open hypermesh and put a profile abacus standard 3d then quickly you can create plates using a fate i'll create a node and fit it then go to 2d paste drag this node and this node i'll select and i'll select 100 so here i won't create mesh i'll create geometry in y direction i'll create and after that so what i'll do i'll take node between using a 4 you can this node and this node i'll select and at the center we need to create a hole go to line page select those set a node and select the plane on which plane you are going to create a hole radius as a 5 right i'll switch with true topology now you can see the smaller bit you can go with 10 radius so now you can <coughs> go to shift f9 trim with lines can set with normal sur surface you need to trim with this line which is you need to cut normal to surface and trim it so now you trimmed the surface and you can name so as per uh, the snap right part 1 you need to name it as part 1 right so so then what you need to do is this part so we need to orient this one to x direction right this x direction we need to orient it so i'll go to tool page i'll go to tool page go to rotate so this is the component right whole component i just want to rotate right so in which direction so this is a y means y rotation i am rotating y rotation will select y direction and base as this node and select 90 degree can rotate this component with respect to this node so i rotated by 90 degree right so why i'll explain right so because while creating hinge we can create local coordinate system in x direction x dot which will be helpful to you to understand so then you can create one more component that is part 2 so you can give any color of your interest right so first make this part one as current so mesh this component before that go to o option you can select mesh 
you can set a global element size as 5 and set select topology division to set with the keep mesh go to f12 and mesh it randomly so we are not maintaining flow this that quickly we are creating right so you created a mesh so then you need to translate this component in specifically this element by face so I'm going to duplicate these elements to current component I'll do it because this is the current component when this part 2 this is the part 2 component is a current component so here you can see at the status bar right so I'll translate by 25 mm <clears throat> right it is translated so now instead of creating once again model this that multiple command we need to use instead of that what I'll use I'll go to drag <coughs> and select these nodes you need to drag these elements in which direction this y direction is there no y positive uh, negative direction I'll translate otherwise you can select n1 and n2 in this direction around 200 in it to extend so not you need to translate it right so then you need to check with the connectivity so if it is connected it's good right so then so what you need to do next step is you need to create property and material right first I'll create a material so material I'll create part one same but but different different material you need to assign no issues right back as material this is the part one so create density 7.89 e per minus 9 and go to elastic means angst modulus and polarization you need to assign 2.1 e per 5 is length modulus is the poison ratio so these uh, these material properties are sufficient to create hinge and all right so once again to create same part 2 material I am creating so same thing up I am applying can apply nine 7.89 e per minus 9 and elastic you create 2.0 e per 5 when ratio 0.3 so come back <coughs> and next what you need to do you need to create shell section means we need to create a section property section for part part one right this is a shell so go to planar section and card image you need to select shell section and you need to assign part one thread edit so thickness you need to assign around three four whatever according to your requirement and assign four right so then I'll create section property for part two and create edit you can create three or four you can create no issues then come back now you need to assign this property to these components means this part one and property section sectional part one right update it select those and you can as on this property once you assign property what you need to do you need to create a component named as coupling right so you can give any color <coughs> right so for this coupling it is not necessary to create uh, any property in the right so go to 1d page 
go to result so instead of kind copy you can go with coupling kinematic kinematics right so before that what you need to do you need to create three nodes over here that means we need to find a center of this part one and part two and then find the center between these two nodes right so then <coughs> then you can create <coughs> results over here so select create one more node so this and this in in between node you need to create right so then can create this is the node and you need to select these nodes you can create wizard and then you can select this node and you can create these nodes you are making simplify right so once you created these things right so then you can create a component named as connector or hinge you need to create right so can you red color so you can visualize it easily right create it so I didn't assign any property now so I, first I'll create connector and later on we can go with properties go to one day page so in that rod can select con 3d to right select here these nodes and select this node right and next this node select these nodes right now i can visualize this con 3d2 created right then go to f4 <coughs> this is the center <coughs> right center of these two plates so select this node and this node make a distance zero right so now i created connector so for this connector what you need to do is you need to create a local current system you need to orient that connect connector because this is the axis direction in which axis means this is the axis direction this is the x right so and it will rotate along this axis right so for that we need to create a local coordinate system first go to analysis page you need to create a system so for that you need to have a you need to use this second option that is created by node reference right this is the rectangular coordinate system i am going to create this is the origin node right so this is the x x direction assume that if your model is in any other direction so you need to create in x direction this is the x, x axis direction i am going to create second node and third node i'll create uh, select uh, i'll select as a plane that is the xy plane or xz plane it depends right in which direction you are creating the current system it depends right so for this i need a nodes once again i'll create center node over here so previously i created and after that i deleted those uh, nodes otherwise it will uh, they'll make a confusion to you so because of that so now you can create one more node over here in this direction I'll switch off this I'll switch off this hinge shift F4 and you can make a duplicate node over here node duplicate 
can translate in this direction. Right, you translated. So left or right, you can translate. No issues. Right. So now, now this is very very important. Go to system. So this is my center node. This is the origin, right? This is the axis direction, and this is the plane. In which plane we we'll rotate, right? So create it. So you can see this local coordinate system, right? Then you can switch on this hinge. Come back. Now your duty is to create connector property. Means hinge property, right? So go to type line section, connector section. So I am not assigning any metal property to this. So in next session we will see about material, right? So create edit. So what do you want to create? These are the these many. Connections are there means connectors are there joints are there in the backers, right? In that we are creating hinge, right? So here we need to assign orientation, right? Still we need to uh, name the local coordinate system. I didn't rename that one. So for that what I'll do? <coughs> Come back here. Go to card edit. Select cyst and select this local current system. Edit it. Orientation. You can define any name. LCS. LCS means local current system. Right. So you can give any name. Right. So I renamed that. And I'll go to property hinge property. Card edit. And you can enter name as LCS, right? What is the name you had given to this, right? LCS. I'll show once again. Go to card edit. Select this. In card edit, you can select SYSTS means system. You can select and edit it. So I had given this name. Otherwise, you can copy it. You can come back, right? So then, in the property, card edit. So you are pasting over here means that name you are pasting over here and use orientation. So I selected system ID it is asking. So select this. What is your system ID? This is one right. So you can select one as your system ID. Then the what are the property we created using this local coin system? You need to assign to which component that to the hinge, right? Select this and assign this property to hinge component. It is now assigned. Whether this property is assigned to this component or I need to check. Right? So for that, what you need to do once again, you need to go to card edit, select props. Props means property. Right? Select this on 3D, edit it. Then it is assigned, right? So your uh, local coin system. This is an important learning over here. Specifically, how we need to assign property or connector section we need to create and we need to assign to the component, right? So now what you need to do is you need to apply boundary condition. First, you need to constrain. You need to apply constraint, right? You can apply. So I'll apply constraint. For below plate, I'll apply the constraint to the below plate. So all, so I'm using low tab as boundary. So I'll constrain all degrees of freedom. Means extra x x y z. These are the translations in x y uh, x y z direction translation I'm fixing, and x y z rotation also I'm fixing. So just create it. So if you want to visualize, you can switch on this load handle. So you can visualize one, two, three, four, five, six means all degrees of freedom are fixed, right? So next, what we need to do is we need to assign 
velocity to the connector earth right upper plate <coughs> so so i'll select connector velocity right so different different ways are there there is you can use initial condition or a history where edit and come down this is the connector load is there so in that connector load comps which component you want to give Con load right so what kind of load you want to define over there you can select that one or you want to define what connector motion right select connector motion over here so if you are having a doubt once again so if if it is making confusion to you i'll create once again so you can create connector velocity go to history or initial condition go to history then create edit so here connector load is there right so go to connector motion so then go to connector motion comps select which component you need to select hinge you need to select relative motion means what so you want to define x rotation x rotation means what degrees of freedom x means df1 df2 means degrees of freedom 1 means x translation degrees of freedom 2 means y translation df3 means degrees of freedom z translation degrees of freedom 4 means what rotation along x so relative motion i'll give as a 4 means x rot how much you can define 10 as your rotation is a velocity angular velocity reading per second right so come back so now now what you need to do you need to export it before that majorly what you need to do go to see here the sanity set browser is there no i'll close this i'll show you so go to model browser in that this entity set so you can if you are you can open over here in view you can select this entity browser right you will there is no entity set browser right so now you can select this before going to export so what you need to do you need to select entity set and you can open this you can check so whether these things are active and they are all things are, ex are going to export or what you need to check over here if you are unselected it won't export right so you need to keep active first you need to cross verify and after that you need to export you can create a folder of hinge right so then you can create folder and of that you can export this as right so but one thing we missed so what is that so we created load collector but we need to define load step right So that is a missing thing. Sorry for that. Go to load step. Static analysis. What I'm going to carry it over here. Right. So load collector. It will expect these are the load collectors. Right. Output block means what are the output request you are requesting. For that, what you need to do? You need to go to output block. You can enter. Put. Create edit. Generally, there are so many output. things are there simply you can create output variable means different kinds of variable what are the outputs are, uh, are there for uh, connect connectors so all output you will get it if you uh, if you selected variable as a pre select right then come back so in this group is there there is no contacts over here so because of that i don't want to Select uh, create any uh, created uh, any contacts over here, right? So in constraint you can check whether it was initial initial condition or what. So for that this is very very important. So constraint to select 
right this is the initial condition right it's a boundary condition what you are applying select this two loads and you can select output and create edit right so here you can see these are the different different analysis are there in that i am selecting static step parameter you need to select in that increment it's a by default mm. to step increment <coughs> data line i need to select so this is the data line right step parameter data line into switch so here you need to switch data line this is initial increment is 0 0.01 so in future uh, uh, session we'll discuss what is this why we are using these things why it is so right so come back so your load step is created right so once you created you need to check whether these load collectors are selected or not you need to check before going to export and once again you need to check with entity set <coughs> then you can export right so once you exported enough that what you need to do you need to fire it in a backers okay visualize like this so i'll show you so this is hinge right you can see stresses also you can see reaction force moment how to apply this other reaction force right and you can see stress okay Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, you can like us, subscribe us and share with your friends. Thank you.